All right, in this video, we're gonna actually put your kickball changes to your basic modern jive movements, and we'll do them through your four, six, and eight count movements, and that'll give you a great segue into starting to do rhythm changes in the dance. So let's invite Kerry in. To get used to doing it, what we're gonna do is a little practice drill. I'm just gonna work off the natural side for the leader for modern jive and kick ball change. And when I come in, I wanna think, just like if I'm starting the dance, seven, eight, one, right? Now I'm gonna add that kick ball, seven, eight, one, R, two. And you're gonna practice that over and over. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. One of the really important things here is to get that compression and sending the girl already back on that left foot, because I'm going back on the right, and then away, kick, ball, change. Now it's going to depend how far you move, how much you move to what the girl's going to come in. But one thing I don't do is send the girl away, so I get really long, and then pull her back in. We're using compression and opposition compression. here. So we're both forward over the balls of the feet and kick, ball, change. So it's the whole body, it's this core that's moving back that's really needing me on this. Yeah, so Kerry doesn't feel that it's too abrupt. She likes the smoosh. <laughs> Technical term. Smoosh. And stretch. The stretch or the opposition. Right, so we'll do it from the other side just so they can see it. Seven, eight, one, R, two. So it's a nice little kick, ball, change. And kick, ball, change. Now, to do it off the other side, again, I'm going to prep so I'm not on my left foot yet. I'm getting ready and Kerry's not on the right. And this is more for drill purposes at the moment. Eight, one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Then we'll do it with two hands. And we'll do it on the same side of the body. And one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Now we'll switch sides. And my right foot is free, carries left. Seven, eight, one, R, two. Seven, eight, one, R, two. All right, I think that makes enough sense. Practice that. And now we're gonna show you your kickball, your sweep, your hitch. You can swivel all the feet or not. You can just be lift the feet. And then um, your knee pops. All right, so we'll start out with a push break. This should be a nice little challenge for you, where you go. All right, so putting it to a pattern and still keeping your push break for modern jive as a four count. And I'll also show about how to extend it. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do that from this side. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now when you first start doing this, it might feel like a little weird. You could extend it out to a six count where you'll march in place for the five, six, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I would create compression late and the girl would wait because she's waiting for me to initiate. That's why it's really important on the compression and the extension that the girl waits to see what I want from her. All right, so if we were to do a different figure now, or actually let's do that from here first. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. So let's do a sweep action for Ron de Jean. And remember, you could put this anywhere in the pattern. And we're just showing you how to start introducing it to your dance, and we feel that it's easiest on that. One, two, because of the compression that I can create. Getting used to not starting on the wrong foot, but actually prepping on that off foot or the right for the guy left for the girl. Uh, we're gonna do a side pass. So we're gonna sweep that. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I went side pass to push break. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. So one of the tips there, because I'm leading a nice compression and hitch-like action, 
for the sweep or the kick ball that I'm actually making up a lot of the travel for the goal. Normally on a basic, we would meet together. And you see Kerry did a really nice kick ball change there. That was awesome. Um, but if I sweep, the girl doesn't know if I'm going to keep this basic timing or if I'm actually going to extend. If it's basic timing, pitch and sweep, I'm making up the difference a little bit there and I'm making sure I help the girl travel, which I really should be doing in our dance anyway. Now let's do that from lengthwise. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see I'm adding a pattern at the end so you can see how easy it is to get back into basic timing. Seven, eight, one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One quick thing, uh, from this side, I do the pass, so kick, ball change, which is like a sweep, and I travel. The hand comes down, I don't pull it down, but I let gravity drop it, and then I'm creating compression to tell Kerry to go. And it's not that strong, it's not like I'm really shoving the girl down, I'm just creating pressure by being over the ball or the feet, so I have my pitch in the right place. All right, so a tuck. Let's do a uh, swivel on the heels. And we don't have to match these rhythms either. I could do kick ball, carry, could do sweep or hitch. It uh, doesn't really matter, but we're just doing them together so we can practice. All right, so remember we swivel the feet out. Seven, eight, swivel, tuck, around, out. So it'll feel a little funky on that timing, but it's a lot of fun. So seven, eight, swivel, catch, out, finish uh, from the back and one a two three four five six seven eight one two all right now remember we go out and then catch tuck and then over finish the pattern and start again i cannot enforce enough the fact that the follow has to give that compression to make it be a tuck. We have to fully commit to that. So I just made sure that I demoed my, go ahead and go to the tuck, my step forward in there. Must I step forward? Well, no, you do have some options, but I must completely compress and commit to that um, equal and opposite reinforcement of what he's broadcasting to me. And a little tip here which will help the guys, pitch, catch, so wait for the girl to get over that foot so I'm actually absorbing and then sending. And I'm not doing any footwork here, which would be completely legit, but it's a great exercise. Get the girl to hitch, catch, around, and out. I'm sort of bopping, I'm putting a pulse in there, but it helps me. I look like I'm doing a bit of rock and roll now. Um, but it makes a difference. And then you'll get used to swivel, catch, catch, boom, over, around, basic timing. Practice it, 